What's up everybody, George from Venture GT. And today, I got a new video for you guys. Today, I'm doing something that I've been wanting to do from the beginning since when I first got this Renegade because I felt like it lacked it. Some Renegades come with it, but I wanted a specific one, which is kind of why I waited to. And I am talking about a hood decal. I've been wanting to get a very specific one just because I like the way it looks. There's so many out there. You go to Amazon or eBay, you find so many different options that you just don't know what to choose. Some of them are kind of weird and kind of funny. Some of them are pretty cool, but I just wanted this very specific one. It took me a while to finally get one, but I decided to get it. You know what, why not? Let's do it. I'm gonna do this as a wet install. I've actually tried to do this once. I did this uh, some time ago last year. I bought, honestly, it was kind of a cheapo random one and I was gonna throw it on there. I'm glad it actually didn't work out. I tried doing the dry install and it just didn't work. I ended up ripping it off, threw it away and deleted all the footage. But today, let's hope that doesn't happen. I'm gonna show you exactly which one I got. So right here is the one that I wanted. Check this out. Big stripe, it has Renegade up front with a big X in the back. This is the very specific one I wanted. And if you guys want the same kind, I will link it in the description below. So this is what we're gonna install today. And uh, hopefully it goes well. First thing you wanna do is clean your hood. As you can see, mine's already pretty clean. Um, I guess only in the spots that matter, which is the center. It will not do the whole thing. It will just stop about right here maybe. And it will stop maybe right about to here. Things we're gonna need today will be a spray bottle with some soapy water, a squeegee of your choice, and a heat gun. Heat guns definitely help out when it comes to vinyl and wrap. It just makes things easier. But before we actually start with the install, we will have to remove these guys first. Some strips actually come with it with their vinyl stripe cutout, has a hole cut out for these guys. This one does not, which is kind of nice. Now I could actually make it look legit. So we're gonna remove these, and if you have to do the same thing, I will show you how to do that. All right, first thing you wanna do is pop your hood. So for us, we will have to remove these. This is very simple. You just gotta pull these little tabs down. Yeah, you just wanna squeeze both ends, and I'll get close. Squeeze these two in, release, and you should be able to pop them right off. And don't lose them, I'll put them right up here. All right, once you have them off, they should just slide right out. They're just held on up top by these four corners. We'll set this off to the side. And now that it's exposed, we could actually see it when we get closer. You can kind of see that from there. So with these, it's kind of the same concept. You just want to squeeze these two and they push up versus down. It's probably better to get some sort of pliers or maybe two screwdrivers, but we should be able to use pliers. Some needle nose vice grip should be pretty handy. There we go. Squeeze them and push out. Now, I don't think leaving those tabs there will hurt anything, so I'm gonna go ahead and close this. All right, so here's the fun part. So now that these are out, they're just attached to a hose. So you just gotta unscrew these plastic pieces off the hose without breaking it, cause that's, uh, that's the tricky thing there. You definitely don't wanna break these. There we go. Okay, we can let that one hang. Same thing will go with this one. Shouldn't have any problems if we just let it drop. Oh, little spray. Now that we have these off, We'll put them aside or in your pocket, just don't lose them. And we'll continue on. All right, well, since we messed with the hood a bit, so let's just respray it down, wipe it down one more time, get any dust and dirt and clean this area nice and well as well. So the good thing about a wet install is you don't have to worry about getting it all set up and get it where you want it, because with a wet install, you're able to move it around. So let's start with spraying the area. I mean like really, really spray it. Get this whole thing wet. That should be good, plenty. So then we're gonna peel this off completely. Peel the whole thing off. There we go. Peel the whole thing off. Careful, don't get too crazy. Perfect. Once you have this off, 
spray this whole thing too right on the wet side sorry right on the sticky side as you can see it's moving all around which is exactly what we want if it's not moving around then you need some more water more soapy water now the only thing left is just getting it to where you need it want it and then you can start squeezing some of this water out you can kind of see it already going also I forgot to mention having a rag helps out a lot too to collect the water that comes out and in here in a little bit we'll get that heat gun out and I'll show you why it's so nice to have that I'm gonna try doing the front see if you guys can see that a little bit better all right all right guys looks like i got this little piece good there's a little imperfection there that's kind of my fault i let it wrinkle up and then i sweeped across it and i kind of made a little crease in there which is fine i'll deal with that it's my fault um but yeah i think overall it's working out so far the heat gun is definitely definitely helping out a lot especially when i remove this piece started to bubble out a little heat gun will just kind of close it in and then you'll be able to slide it out so let's do this top half and hopefully it goes just as well it's got to be careful on the lettering At this point with lettering, I'm just gonna kind of dab at it instead of wiping it. I wouldn't want to risk catching a corner and ripping it off. See, there's a little bit of wrinkle here. I'll have to hit that with both the heat gun and the squeegee. Boom. What do you think guys? It actually turned out really nice. It took me a little while to get the front. You know, I had wrinkles, I had to keep going back. You know, this stuff, it takes a little bit of time, but once you have it all done, it's just gonna be worth it at the end. Now, before we get too excited, let's go ahead and cut these guys out and then we can install everything back on. All right, so you wanna be careful when you do this part since, you know, you don't wanna scratch your paint or damage the rest of the stripe that you just put on All right. I shouldn't bother anything I'll do the next one same thing on this side Okay. Make sure when we put these on, you're doing it right. So the flatter side is what's gonna go towards the car. So we'll just put them in and they should just, boom. Mm. Love it. And boom, oh, looks good. Open up the hood and we just push these back into place. You might wanna actually hold the back for support. You don't wanna snap them off. Make sure they're all the way in. All right. Oh, don't want to close that yet. Before we close shop, we just got to put this bad boy back on. That goes in first. This one goes in. These two, and then... So we'll throw those back on. It shouldn't really matter which way you put them in as long as you put them in. These should be easier to put in than they were to take off. Okay. You do have to squeeze them in as well. You can't just push them in. All right. It looks like they're all in. 
sweet. There we go. All right. And just like that, guys, we are done. That is amazing. I've been waiting to do this for so long. This looks great. After I clean the car nice and well, the gloss black should, should match everything else. I mean, right now it's filthy, but man, that looks sick. That looks nice. There was some little imperfections over here, some little bubbles I still got to get at. And uh, right up front, there's a little imperfections. But everything else turned out okay. The back looks nice and smooth. Uh, those guys slid back on with no problem. The thing I love the most is this little XD. The little X in the D. Kind of reminds me of my XD rims. Little boom, XD. Well guys, that's it. That's the end of the video. As you can see behind me, that's the end result. I love it. Absolutely love it. I'm so glad I waited to put this one on. But we're done, we got it. Before it started to snow too, we're starting to get to that cold stage. If you guys are interested in a video I've done in the past by Crux Motorsports, they hooked me up, they sent me some tint layover for the rear side, for around the car. I will link that over here and I will also link the video of the wheels that I did to kind of go with that XD thing and I'll put that up here. All right, guys, that's all I had. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, leave me a comment. Tell me what you want to see next. And this is George from Red GT signing out.